Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. This is the final video. And, um, I'm just gonna show off some extra stuff. Some stuff I didn't get to show off before. So, uh, let's get started. Let's just, we're just gonna go normal, and we're gonna go to the hideout. Um... We did look at this place earlier in the game. Actually, I think it was the second video, I think. And, uh... Well, there's really not anything different, except for the fact that I managed to pick up all the guns. Here's our bird friend here. And, uh... I do believe our bird friend is bulletproof in a stage. I bet he wish he was bulletproof in the last stage, huh? You know... I kind of wonder what's going on here. Does anybody know why there's paint on the wall here? Is that something 47 was doing? Is that a, a secret assassin technique I don't know about? I don't know. Um, let's head on in here. So we've got a table uh, filled with ammunition. Let's pick that all up right now so that way we don't have to pick it up later. Because i got a lot of guns to go through. Just going to magically teleport all this ammo into my pocket and uh we're ready to go right we're ready to go okay um so uh over here are the pistols of the game not every pistol i mean you can't take the the customized m1911 with you which is really unfortunate but here's one of my favorites the bull 480 or whatever it's called this is a big boy gun. It's a big boy gun. It kills in one or two shots. You know, sometimes you can get uh, a kill with a body blow. It's pretty useful. It's not very accurate at long range, but... Well, that's okay. I mean... Most of the time, you're gonna get close to your target anyway. Now I'm gonna kill this. And... I'm gonna watch the blood spread out. That's a lot of blood for such a tiny rat, huh? We're going to do some more rat killing a little later in this video. Um, oh, poor rat. So let's look at our spread here. Oh, one in the left shoulder. Huh. Oh, wow, that's way off target. Um, another miss. Man, that bull sucks. Let's check out another weapon. You know, one thing I like to do when blood money is is kill someone with an unsilenced weapon and try to sneak away before anyone sees who did it, you know? So here's the Desert Eagle. Everyone knows that gun. Um, the Six Shooter, which is the gun that a lot of people use in uh, the Hillbilly stages. It's, uh, it's not as powerful as the Bull, but it's more accurate. And it's better at range, I believe. Haven't really, uh... Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy! Haven't really experimented too much with, uh, the non-silenced guns that you can pick up on your travels. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. To be honest, as hard as it can, it can be to believe, I'm a little tired of blood money. I know, it's, it's strange to think, right? But, well, there you go. So here's the air rifle. Um, you saw it in, uh, let me, this wrap, there we go. Sweet dreams, pal. Okay. And he's not dead, folks, he's just unconscious. Nighty-night. Alright, um, that was in A Better Life, the suburbs level, you know. Tranquilizer gun. <clears throat> and, uh, this baby here was in the Mardi Gras stage. It was in, uh... In Mark Parchesi's place. This gun is pretty accurate. Um, it's not as good as the M4, of course, but it's got a good balance of power and accuracy. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a great gun. I mean, you can't upgrade it, you can't silence it, but, well, that's just the nature of those sorts of weapons. Now, let's see, what else do I pick up? Um, ah, okay. Here's the, uh, oh, well, I don't pick up that one, okay, um, oh, right, I'm looking for, 
Let's see. No? I'm not going to pick up that, really? Ah, the elephant rifle. Now, I never picked this weapon up. This is actually in Death Do Us Part. And uh, it's in the bedroom of Pappy LeBlanc, or whatever his name is. Um, it's a powerful gun. You can zoom in on the scope. It's not silenced, of course, but it's very accurate and very powerful. Got to take down elephants, after all. I'm really sorry I missed out on this gun. But, uh, well, you can always play the game yourself and pick it up. So, let's see. Ah, the Kazog, blah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> it's sort of like the elephant gun, but crappier, as far as I can tell. I mean, you can't zoom in on a scope. It's got one setting. Here's the dragon off. It's not as powerful as the elephant gun, but it's uh, it's semi-automatic, no bolt action, and you can zoom in pretty far. So I gotta say, this is probably my favorite video game sniper rifle. You know, I I like to use it in Call of Duty, even though it's not a very good gun in that game, just because. Oh, okay. No, well, you were a lucky rat, my friend. I'll leave you in peace. So that's the the dragon off the SVD. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, a little tired of this place. Kind of wanting to move on. Silver ballers. And huh, they weren't they weren't loaded. That was weird. Um, SMGs. What can you say about SMGs, really? They can fit in your suit. They fast. Um, actually, this MP7 actually is better range. Die, you fuck. Mary, die. Oh. Well, see? What did I tell you? Bulletproof. He's bulletproof. So, uh, <clears throat> I think that's it for the hideout. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Got a lot to see. Got a lot to see. And did you know that if you feed bodies to the shark, it will get bigger and bigger? As you can see, this guy, he's fucking fat. Look at him. He's fucking huge. Oh my god. That shark, too. Um, I don't know how big they can get. After a while, I kind of got bored dragging bodies to the water. Now, see? There's a skinny shark over here. That's a normal-sized shark. There's a big shark. Eat another body. Alright, so for this next uh, little tidbit, we gotta go to the opera stage. And we gotta get down here. Now, these guys have a. have kind of a rat problem. And if you could speak French, oh là là, il doit être temps I think de what they're coupe. saying is they're complaining about the rats. At least that's what I've heard, but I don't speak French, so I don't really know. Oh, hey, he's got a uh, an anchor tattoo. Oh, are you Popeye? Uh, did Popeye get a day job? So, you want to go in here, I think. Or do I get lost? Ah, oh, damn it. I, yeah, I get lost for a little bit. It's easy to get lost down here. But what we're looking for is looking for a trash room that's infested with rats. Well, not really infested. Just three rats, really. I mean, three rats isn't really an infestation, is it? But, uh, and I'm saving here because I don't want anything to go wrong. I don't want to go through everything to go back to here. Okay, so there's a lot of trash here, but there's no rats. Okay, kind of odd. Um, is the trash room in here? Is it? No, it's not in here. Um, huh. That's, uh, this guy is painting something. Let's check in here. And no, it's not in here either. Well, there's one, there's one place I haven't checked yet. Right through here. Right where I started. Ah, stupid Nick Meister. So here are the three rats I'm talking about. And we're an assassin, and we're gonna assassinate the rats. There's one rat down. Rat killer. Hitman rat killer. Oh, don't, oh. Just face it like a man. I know you're a rat, but just... Oh, jeez. That's a lot of blood. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't murder... Uh, oh, 
Wow, cool. Look at this card. So now that we've killed these three rats, this card appears on the table here. You dirty rat club. Key card. And it's got a number on it. It's got a funny little drawing. <laughs> oh, he's got a Tommy gun. Isn't he cute? Cute little rat. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Like I was saying, I... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Who murdered these rats? Who could have done such a thing? Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> and they're so disturbed by the sight of these cute little rats bleeding out on the floor. They, they're they cowering in fear. And we got to get out of here before they, they call the... Uh, they call the police because they do they do take they do take animal abuse very seriously in Paris, France, especially in the opera. So uh, next thing we want to do is we want to head upstairs backstage, and of course I get lost again. Um, I think I'm just gonna head through here. I kind of want to go a different way just in case these guys you know started pointing and screaming at me, but well that didn't happen, so we lucked out there. And I'm going to head up here. And I'm going to head through here. And now we're backstage. And we got to head upstairs to, uh... I don't know, I guess it's a security room or something. But if you remember when I played the stage way back when, there was a door I couldn't get through, and I didn't know it at the time, but our rat, car, our rat key club card, there's, that, there's the map, will let us in. Nice. Hey, what's in here anyway? What, what is the rat club? You dirty rat club. Oh, oh my god. Your boxers? Oh wow, look at those cute little rat boxers. And that guy's trying to serve them cheese even though they're in the middle of a sparring match. It's kind of weird. And, oh, look over there. There are people playing cards. Oh man, they're playing cards. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Let's take a closer look. Hey, wait a second. Nine, Jack, four, nine. Hey, someone's cheating here. So they got duplicate cards in that. Or maybe they just don't know how to play. <sighs> maybe that's why. They just know how to play. Do they have the same cards over there, too? Let's look. They do. They have the same damn cards. What? Someone's fucking cheating. I don't like cheating. Hello, 40. All right. You dirty fucking rats. Someone's fucking cheating. And they, they don't even seem to notice that they're being systematically wiped out. Oh, poor rats. You shouldn't have double-crossed me, but... I guess that's what... Oh my god, that's so much blood! Look at all that... Look at all that damn blood! How is that even possible? It's like Mortal Kombat. Alright, well... That's it. That's it for that, anyway. Um... What's next? Okay, so in Death Do His Part, there's a shiny little coin on the ground in the corner here. Right over here. <laughs> and we're gonna take out our gun. They don't mind. It's hillbilly season. They don't mind. And there it is, right there. Can you see it? You better turn on high quality, because it's right there. It's right there. And we're gonna shoot it. And, oh my god, it's raining men. All these brawling hillbillies just stripped down of their underwear, and they're just totally impressed with the fact that we shot that coin in the ground. And now I'm going to murder them with a bomb. Why? Just because. Just feel like it. Let the bodies fly in the air. Nice. That was pretty sweet. Okay. Next clip! Ow, they're shooting me. Alright. So, uh... This, this thing is the zombie ship. It's a cool little thing. It's kind of obscure. It's, it's not something you would, you would uh, discover accidentally. I don't think. Unless you're some kind of freak who has nothing to do with play Hitman Blood Money. And no, I didn't discover it myself. Even though I am a freak. Come on. God damn it. So, the thing is, you can't kill anyone before you do this. Before you initiate the zombie the zombie ship, you cannot kill anyone, okay? That's very important. So, uh, well, you, you can't kill anyone directly. You'll see what I mean. So, drag this guy. It's very This specific guy, you must drag him over to this uh, balcony here. And you throw him over the right balcony, okay? That's very important. That specific guy over the right balcony, there. 
and he died from a fall, so that's not our fault. Now, we gotta get this Gator Gang member, this specific Gator Gang member, knock him the fuck out, and, uh, I'm gonna drag him up here as well. Now, some people might try to stop this. Now, like I said a thousand times already, it's very important that you don't kill any of them, so if someone tries to stop you, you just take away their gun, and, uh, okay. That hurts. Fucking jackass. Give me that. Thank you. Jesus. Hey! You know, if you can't be responsible with that thing, I'm gonna take it away. Ugh. Alright. I'm gonna drag him. Continue to drag him. Through this place. And, alright. So, I'm gonna throw him over the left balcony this time. So, this specific Gator Gang member over the left balcony. Alright, let's go. Up and over. And now it's done. Now everyone is a quote-unquote zombie. Let's take a look. What? What? Hold on a second. Oh. oh. What the fuck? Die, you fucking bastard. Die. What's that punching sound? Die, you fucking freak. Oh. God, they just keep fucking coming. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'll take out my other gun. Now, if you notice, I killed all of them with body shots. Um, that's very important because you know what? These guys are zombies, and you can't kill a zombie by shooting in the chest. You gotta aim for the head, right? What? Oh my god. He's got right back up again. What the fuck is this? Die. Oh, die. Die, you fucking freaks. Okay, so, you have to use a headshot to put them down, because they are, of course, zombies. And that lady won't get up, but that man will. And so they walk around slowly, they punch the air. Sometimes it looks like they're dragging something, even though they're not dragging anything, like this guy over here. Um, they walk very slowly. <laughs> um... Look at all this, listen to all that punching sound. It's just hilarious, really. Okay. Let's blow up some zombies. Um, I do believe bombs put them down permanently, by the way. I'm gonna knock you out. Okay, no, wrong weapon. I don't I don't know if syringes will kill zombies or not. I didn't really try that out. Let's throw another bomb here. And let's blow these people up. Now uh, more 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 people blown up. Oh die you freaks. Die 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 So uh Yeah Yep. The zombie killing. Okay, so this one is um, in the suburb stage, A New Life. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we're going to watch the... We're going to watch some people dance. Or something. Well, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, uh, first thing we want to do is we want to head in here. And of course, stress as an FBI agent, no one's gonna bother us. It's a clown doing his thing. What are you laughing about, you fucking jackass? Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna head down to the basement because, uh, there's something that we need. Alright, and I'm gonna kill this dog. There we go. Sorry, Fido. Sorry, buddy. But you gotta go. Alright, so we're gonna head in here. And there's some lighter fluid around here somewhere. Not there. Where is it? Ah, uh, here it is. So, there's two bottles of lighter fluid in the stage. It's important that we get both bottles of lighter fluid. Okay, you got that, kids? Both bottles of lighter fluid. And we head up. Sorry. Sorry, doggy. Alright, so we're gonna head up here. And, uh... Oh, hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Just, you know. You know. Just, just doing what I do. And, uh, we're gonna, he we're gonna head in here and pick this lock. And we're gonna pick up our second bottle of lighter fluid. So we got both bottles of lighter fluid in the level. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for uh, this pretty boy, pool boy motherfucker to come over here and go into the shack where we can be alone with him. And we're going to, of course, take his outfit. I'm just gonna put that down and somehow it's going to prop itself up against the building magically. And he's gonna stand around staring at the grass because I guess this grass is very interesting. I don't know. Um, I think we can head inside. So, we're gonna follow him, and of course, we're gonna put him down. And, uh, there we go. There we go. How do you like that, huh? And, nah, nah. You know, this is the final level after all. Maybe a little mercy is in order. Okay. And, uh, we're gonna head over here and... Work our magic. The pool isn't the only thing I need serviced. Oh, Come God. On. What else do you want me to service, lady? Bounce. Go, wow, wow. So I'm going to cut ahead a little bit here. Since she walks very slow. Okay. And she says a funny line here. Let's listen. Don't worry. He's clean. Until I get him alone. Damn, anyway. girl. All right. So let's cut ahead again. I'll just prepare myself for a bath. Don't move a muscle. Okay. And, you know, she really doesn't mind if we follow her into the bathroom. It's okay. I'm just going to follow her in here. And I'm not really sure what she's doing exactly to, to prepare herself for a bath. But, um, I don't... Where's the water, lady? Are you pretending? Or are you going to take off your, your towel or what? Uh, huh. Okay. All right, let's let's get down to it. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not in the mood what? after all. I need a drink. A drink, lady. That's all you do is drink. Jeez. All right, if it gets you in the mood, I mean, I can get some drinks, I guess. I'm not what? In the mood. Go back down. I need a what? Oh, lame. You know, old people are so lame. You know, all the milf porn makes makes. A relationship with an older woman seems so interesting, but you know, it's really just a drag. We gotta let her lay down here, but actually, whoops. I don't think you should be here. Okay, and your voice is sort of different, and we ruined everything, so we gotta start over again. Hold on a second. God damn it. Okay, so. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up, didn't I? Okay, so. We don't want her to see us and get up and freak out and reset. We gotta make sure she goes to sleep. Wait, I'm gonna make absolutely sure she's asleep. Alright, let's go through here. I'm gonna sneak up. And what we wanna do now is we want to take her necklace. There we go. And it's not just for the sake of completing the mission, it's because if we do this specific thing, then something very specific happens. Oh, okay, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, girl, oh, can't go through there. If he sees me picking a lock, you'll blow my fucking brains out, huh? All right, all right. Okay, so every, everything's fine. I was a little worried there for a second. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna rig the barbecue. And after we rig the barbecue, there's going to be some more waiting, so I'm going to cut that out. But before that, we want to go to a place where we can get a good view of what's going to happen. Because something really exciting, something something really exciting and funny is going to happen. So I think this is a good spot, or maybe I'll change it later, I don't know. All right, I'm going to cut ahead again, there we go. And here she comes. She's up and rested and fresh from her nap. Oh, old people, always taking naps, always lying down. Oh, what a tease. All right, I'm going to get some revenge. Revenge! There we go. What? What's this? What? What are you clapping? What are you sick bastards? Holy shit. Oh, man, I thought I was sick. They're just clapping as this poor woman is burning to death. And then, what? Is that a dance or something? Ooh, oh, it's a wave. Oh, man. Oh, you, you fucking assholes. <laughs> what are you clapping about? All right, now let's murder them all. Murder, 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 mur
one left standing. And this is why I don't like dual silver ballers. So, I'm very dead. I'm using uh, full auto, full auto guns too. Fully automatic silver ballers, that is. Look those bodies fly. Probably the best part about uh, the, the automatic silver ball is just the way the bodies fly. Wow! Look at that body fly. That's fucking amazing. Oh, God, friends, come on. All right, so um, that's it for that. And here's some dancing I put together. Um, if you stand on a dance floor and you don't move. You don't move 47, you can move the camera, but not, not himself. Uh, 47 will start to dance. And even though the hillbillies tell you you're not supposed to be on the dance floor, if you, if you stand there long enough, okay. And uh, here's the rock and roll dance from the Mardi Gras level. It's a really weird dance. Uh, 47 looks so goddamn lonely, doesn't he? And the, the music for the club wouldn't play for some reason, so we're just listening to that... Oh, here's a salsa dance. This kind of looks like the rock and roll dance. So I'm in the, the salsa club in the Mardi Gras stage. And coming up, this is my favorite dance. I don't really understand what it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh man, 47 looks like such a fucking creep, doesn't it? <laughs> awesome. All right, the stuff of nightmares, really. The stuff of nightmares. That was just about the best parade ever, wasn't it? Yeah, the best parade ever. <laughs> All right, so here's the final uh, secret, obscure secret, dancing secret, whatever. We're in uh, Amendment 21, or 25, rather. And I got that uh, that lady from outside, I got her briefcase, the one that you can hide your silver baller in if you want. And I'm going to take it to um, the area right here, right outside the vice president's uh, office. I'm going to take this suitcase, and I'm going to throw it against this wall three times. Now, three is the magic number. So I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to throw it again. There we go. And one more time, one more time, and there. Did I do it right? Um, did I do it right? Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Line up, you mugs. That's it. That's it. Show some fucking discipline. You're Marines. And oh shit! Oh, fuck! Come on, guys. God damn. Okay. Don't want to pull out your gun. Okay. So now all the Marines in the level, wherever they may be, are all going to run to this spot. Every single Marine in the stage running to this spot. And uh, they're going to line up. Okay. And he's going to shrug at me for some reason. Oh, you sassy Marine. Didn't know Marines could be so... I'm oh, missing one. There he is. And now they're gonna do a little dance. Oh, man. It's fucking sweet, isn't it? Look at that. Such precision. It must have taken, you know, months of practice uh, to get that right. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, the greatest fighting force in the world. Also the greatest dancing force in the world. And now we're gonna murder them. Why? Well, just because. Die. 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 And the vice president himself is ready to deliver the kill shot. Well, you know what? Fuck you, Mr. Vice President. I don't like you anyway. Awesome. And I'm dead. God, you know... This was such a... Such a roller coaster ride, you know? I, I spent four months guiding you through this game. You know, I don't really know what to say now that it's over. Um, there's really nothing to say, but, uh, well, I'm glad you watched. I'm glad you appreciated it. If you thought it sucked, well, uh, sorry. Play the game yourself. Do a better job. Do your own Let's Play. Why not? I'll watch it. 
a guest guest star on it. Um, so there's only thing there's only really one left thing left to do is let 47 die, and pretend like that game Absolution never happened. Uh, even though I'll probably be doing a let's play of that too in the coming months, probably in the summer maybe. I don't know. Fuck it. Goodbye.